Okay, you ready, boy? Here's your challenge tonight. If you can guess which one is the real American, you'll win a shiny gold chocolate dollar. <laughs> Not yet. Don't touch the chocolate dollar until you've won the prize. <laughs> it's going to be a creepy show tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Choose the real American secretary with your special powers. Correct. from England. Say it again, please. Rosie from England. Rosie from England. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Charlie from Brooklyn, United States. Yep. New York, United States. Oh, I know where it is, John. Right. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay. Oh, okay. They know where it is, too. Not all of them. They're don't definitely know. from Brooklyn, aren't you? <laughs> yes? Anna from Latvia. Latvia? <laughs> Latvia? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm setting you up here. You're an English girl, a Latvian girl, and the... I'm Georgia from Australia. Australian! <laughs> Wait, so... Australia gets a round of applause, but Latvia and England, we hate them? <laughs> you love Latvia and England. They're the best... Um, <laughs> a man can get. Anyway, look. <laughs> Good news, everyone. I've decided that, you know, we're trying to do stuff here to make the world a safer place because I believe children are the future. Treat them well and they will find the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. So, we're going to send you all out to dinner together for you have to solve the world's problems and end this Latvia-Australia crisis. Where are we sending them, Maggie? Locanda Veneta. Locanda Veneta, one of the greatest Latvian Italian restaurants. <laughs> We're going to send you all there. And CBS is going to pay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you uh, come with anyone else? Anyone come with anyone else? My wife. My cousin. Oh, your wife. Oh, <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're going to go to the restaurant too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, your wife's tough when you... Yeah. <laughs> We're going to send you and all your friends to restaurants. Sponsored by T-Mobile. Now your choice is simple. T-Mobile. Unleash. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It's like a tie from the future, isn't it? It is. A wow. tie from the future. This tie is ahead of its time. This looks like the kind of tie that people tomorrow will be wearing. 
The people of tomorrow will be wearing this tie and they'll be walking around with their jetpack saying, thanks, robot overlords, for our ties. <laughs> See what I'm doing here. I saw what you did. See what I'm doing yeah. here, right? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> that's how a vaudevillian stimulates a clitoris. Yeah. What? It's a history lesson, I'm just true. saying. It's true. Back in the day. <laughs> Can I say that? Hey, I'm gonna work on you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what, the horse is mad now? Why is the horse mad? What, yo, yeah. The audience, half of the audience are oohed and the other half are kind of turned on a little yeah, bit. Have you noticed that? <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Friday, of course. Friday. Over in Britain, they're now three days into the royal baby's reign of terror. That was awesome. Let's do it again. The royal baby's reign of terror. Wow, that was impressive. Pretty. That was, that, was like, man, that was like Game of Thrones, man, yeah. right there. Yeah, man. Anyway, they take the baby news seriously in Britain. Today, a town crier came out of Buckingham Palace ringing the bell. Here, yeah, here, yeah, the royal baby just crappeth his britches. <laughs> crappeth. Crap. Crappeth his britches, yeah. yeah. In Ireland, over 1,600 people broke the world uh, record for river dancing this week. Sadly, the record is now in dis dispute because it turns out some of the participants merely had restless leg syndrome. <laughs> No, no, hidenly, Lady, I'm not part of this. I'm on the way to the doctor for me restless leg syndrome. <laughs> it is, of course, a great day uh, for Mick Jagger, Sir Mick Jagger, who is 70 years old today. So congratulations, Mick. From me personally, not from the audience. <laughs> too late, too late, too late. <laughs> It's like, happy birthday to a rock icon, and the audience is like... I didn't know it was Mick Jagger's birthday. Did you know? Who the, who the hell's Mick Jagger? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's a clitoris? <laughs> you having trouble with that one? <laughs> now he's 70 years old, Mick Jagger. I can't get no... I forget. He looks awesome, though, for 70. A fantastic... You got a picture of Mick Jagger? There he is. Ah. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to fix my tie a little bit. It's a little uh, unruly. I don't want that. I can't believe Mick Jagger's 70 years old. You shouldn't worry about it, though, because 70 is the new 50. That's what uh, Geraldo Rivera said when he tweeted that picture last week. Yeah. It is. Do you have that picture? <laughs> The big movie open today I'm very excited about. This is a real thing. Uh, Wolverine. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Mick Jagger is 70. Wolverine. Mick, uh, Hugh Jackman is a, a guy with sharp nails who'll tear any man apart who crosses his path. I'm not sure what he does in the movie, but I'm a big fan of Wolverine. I love the X-Men movies. I can name all the X-Men as Wolverine, Professor Xavier, uh, Cyclops, Storm, Rogue, Sugar Bear, Pumpkin, Chickadee, Mama June, and Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You a picture of Wolverine? Here you are, look at that. Yeah. Now you imagine, you imagine getting poked by that. <laughs> we'll move along. You know what, uh, you know what I like about Wolverine as a superhero? His character is Canadian. You know, in the comics, uh, he's a Canadian citizen who worked for the Canadian government. I love the thought of a Canadian superhero. Yeah. They should have called him like Captain Hawkey or something. <laughs> You get any uh, Canadian uh, superhero names? The syrup Boy. Syrup Boy, all right. <laughs> the Lone Bieber. Uh, Mr. Soft Spoken. Celine Dion. 
Anyway, in the new movie, a Wolverine goes to Japan, although in Japan they don't call him Wolverine, of course, they call him Big Fuzzy Headman, ha ha. <laughs> Now, people think a wolverine is a very tough animal, but actually it's not. A wolverine is a cross between a wolf and a tangerine. <laughs> you got a picture of a wolverine? There you are right there. <laughs> yeah, take that, real TV shows. Now, nah, show me a picture of a real wolverine. There's one, that's one right there. Now, it's a little hairy thing. It's a cross between, like, Danny DeVito and a beaver. Now, you don't want to come between Danny DeVito and a beaver. I have a... <laughs> what? A wolverine actually resembles a tiny little bear. In fact, its nickname is the skunk bear. I don't know who gave it the, like, its nickname in the wild. <laughs> like, like, bears go, oh, look, it's the skunk bear. I, I'm a German yeah. bear. Yeah. Do you know what they said? Yeah, hello. Oh, I'm walking, I'm, uh, they call me Grizzly. I walk around here, you know. <laughs> Grizzly? What is your last name, Grizzly? Bear. <laughs> Hello, I'm Klaus. What's your last name, Klaus? Bear. No, Skunk Bear. That's what, that's what the nickname of, uh, of a Wolverine is. That wouldn't make a <laughs> cool superhero, would it? Stop, villain, or I'll make a smell. <laughs> it's true, though. That little Wolverine, that's what they do. They make a stench. They spray a stench from their anal glands to mark their territory. That's what they do. You can do your own Larry King joke, but that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> the Wolverine uh, primarily lives in cold climates, Canada, Alaska, and the dinner table this weekend at Anthony Weiner's house. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. That's it? Yep, that's it. I uh, feel like I've been... You always have to do that a bit longer than you think you're... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's a Wolverine? I have no idea, but mm. it emits a stink from its backside. Well, you can say that about almost anybody yeah, now, couldn't you? True. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Things are out of control. It is time to end the Latvian Australian crisis. You know, I, I think Charlie from Brooklyn, his wife, I think, is pretty mad at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know he was married. I should have asked. I should have asked, shouldn't I? Well, he didn't really speak up, though, did he? No, he didn't. That's it. I, I, to be honest, I think it's more Charlie's fault than his mind. Yeah, yeah, I'd blame it on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Could he kick my ass, I think? He's from Brooklyn. Yeah. And he doesn't look to me like he's from hipster, new hipster Brooklyn. He's like old school, old kick your ass, yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. He's not one of them tofu Brooklyns. No, he's no. one of them. No, not one of those Prius driving. Right, right. He's more of your kind of, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Don, what are you doing? Hey, hey, Tony. Talk to me. Break your legs. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> What? I see, when I press the bell, if you've never seen this show, first of all, I'm sorry your cable's not working. And two, when I press the bell, Jeff and I pretend to be German. And then when I press the bell again, we continue to pretend That's to be right. German. Yes. Hello there. <laughs> this is how we stimulate <laughs> things in my country. I have no longer permitted to say the word of the thing that I like to stimulate. Cannot say it. You can no longer say this word. And we're back. <laughs> I don't really understand the rules of it either, but let's be honest, most of you are high right now anyway. So. Yeah. Um, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Hey, it's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who'll fondle your letters like a handsy vaudevillian. <laughs> Wait a sec. Yeah, yeah. I got more 
Prohibitions and Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. All right, this one's from Becky in Newton in Massachusetts. You ever been there? Well, yeah. in Massachusetts? Nice place. What did you like about it? I really like the trees. <laughs> Great trees. Anyway, Becky says, hi, Craig. What, you, well, Jeff isn't here? The hell, man. <laughs> Becky, you are rude. <laughs> rude. Hi, Craig. Is there one trick you can suggest to keep a, keeping a good man happy with just one woman? Yeah. Uh, I can suggest it, but it'll get bleeped out. Yeah. <laughs> it involves your finger. <laughs> can I say that? That seems only fair. Yeah, you know, you use it for making cakes. Make you ever had, ever had anyone make you some cake, sir? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I've had my cake made a few times. <laughs> this is from Indigo. Oh, what a lovely name. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, Indigo. Mm. <laughs> uh, from Aurora in Colorado, it says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. Who's your idol? Well, for me, it has to be... Well, you go first, Jeff. Oh, Gary Busey. Gary, Gary Busey, Busey, yeah. <laughs> Secretary, who's your idol? Uh, Kristen Stewart from the uh, Twilight movies? <laughs> Damn, I was going to say that one. Yeah, yeah. Kristen Stewart from the vampire movies. You can, he said it already, man. Well, so what, man? We can both have the same idol. Oh, so now it's you two guys against me. I, I, well, oh, okay, I like Kristen Stewart, too. She's yeah! Funny. We've turned you around. You turned me around and baked me a cake. <laughs> Uh, this is from uh, Reg in Portland, Oregon. Uh, hello, Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, too. Yes, uh, uh, Craig, what kind of advice would you give to a hopeful, young, aspiring stand-up comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Stay off of late-night television. <laughs> that way you won't become a filthy hack. I'm talking about myself here, of course. <laughs> Everyone else who works on television and late night is great and, and friends of mine. <laughs> Man, you, you've had your hand over your mouth. I, I couldn't hear anything. That's the way I do it. Oh. I don't know why I did that. It doesn't make any sense, does no, it? it ah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's some advice to an aspiring stand up comedian don't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> This is from Danny in Taos, New Mexico. Remember we went there and got oh, that turquoise? Great time. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. In the scheme of things, how important would you say sex is? Okay, let's see. <laughs> the scheme of things. There it is. There it is. About that important. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait. A little bit of that, too. Yeah. But that important, if this is the scheme of things, it's about, well, it depends on who you are, because sometimes, you know, other... <laughs> it's a personal decision, man, that's all I'm saying. It's a personal decision, man. <laughs> How important is sex to you, Jeff? Well, I think what you're saying is if you bake the cake, you better blow out the right, cake. Right, there you go. I think it's what you're saying. <laughs> 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 This is, uh, this is from Lindsay in Oswego in uh, New York. You ever been there? Oswego? Oh, yeah. Is it Oswego or Oswego? Or? Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> Louisville. All right. Uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. Is there such a thing as too much chocolate? Yeah, there is, actually. I love chocolate, but sometimes when you have a cake, it can have too much chocolate. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm talking about chocolate cakes. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Connie in Fredericksburg, in Virginia. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. I'm in a real bind because my parents don't yet know about my girlfriend. What, what age are you, man? <laughs> Any suggestions for the best way to break the news to them? Oh, Connie. Oh, Connie. Oh, I see. You're gay. And they don't know about your girlfriend. Oh, right. Well, um, here's how you do it. You kind of lead them into it a different way. You say, good news, Mom and Dad. I'm not an Al-Qaeda. 
It's good. Look, your parents love you. They just want you to be happy. It's cool. It's fine. Chill. It's for love all the people. It's cool. Like, we're, it's the 21st century, man. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Like, seriously? Are we still talking about this, yeah, man? Fine. Come on. You break. Yeah. <laughs> I like it when you do Mickey and I do Goofy. Oh, yeah, that's... All right. <laughs> oh, boy, you're a lesbian. Uh, uh, I tell you what, Bob. I, I'm not fond of penis. <laughs> Goofy and I are going to go bake a cake. Uh -huh. <laughs> Commercial break? Yeah, let's get out of here, man. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. guest our uh, series web therapy airs uh, Tuesday nights on the great Showtime network take a look at this Lisa Kudrow everybody Lisa Kudrow. to see you this evening. Yeah, I, me too. Well, I have to say, though, I, it, it's a thing I've noticed. You've been on the show like a dozen times. About. Right. Yeah. And, and every time you get here, you're kind of a little bit sexier than you were the last time. And you started <laughs> off pretty sexy. I don't know. I think it has more to do with as you get to know me better, well, I, I become more attractive. I, the, <laughs> I'd like to think that I wasn't as shallow as I am, but I am shallow. Oh, no, you and might be. No, yeah, no, I am yeah. shallow, and I, I, it's not based on knowing you. It's just straight up looking at you. Wow. No, it's good. You look great. Thank you. How That's important uh, is sex to you in the scheme of things? Um, it's important. Mm. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important. Yes. You know. Do you find it embarrassing to talk about sex? Well, I do. You know what? I didn't used to, but um, I have a 15-year-old son. Oh. So, you know, yes. he doesn't want to even think no, about... No, uh, uh, no, uh, 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 no. Uh. So, as far as he's concerned, I never have. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I Which think is it's gonna be, better Which is going to be tricky I, for him, given the knowledge that he more than certainly <laughs> has by now. Uh, I, but isn't that what all boys do? They just like, well, yes, yeah, somehow they managed some, and I'm here, but it, that never happened. Well, wh what you I know. did when I was a kid was that there was four of us, so we figured they'd done it four times when they were drunk. Right, right. Yeah. 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 But I have a sneaky <laughs> suspicion that there was more than that going on. Do you, it's possible. Well, I don't know. I mean, my parents got married in the 1950s. I think sex was illegal in Scotland until the <laughs> 70s. <laughs> you, oh, but that's true. Really? No, I don't know. It was just, it was very, it's a very different time mm -hmm. then. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It just never crossed my mind. But even, you know. You touched my leg. I touched your leg. Yeah, no, I like it. But it was like the back of my hand. Yeah, it but it was grow. still touching. It still counts. It wasn't a caress, though. Well, it, it sent a, a shock of sexual pleasure through my body, so. I guess I can't help that. Well, it's. I just it's, have it. It's who you are, mama. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Should I even say what I was going to say? Yeah, why not? Um, you know, but I'm very literal. So, you know, in like old time movies, you know, and people would kiss and then it would fade to black or there'd be fireworks. And yeah. I'd say, oh, so they kissed. <laughs> and that's well, it. So unless I see it actually happening, it's like, well, I don't know that that happened. That's an assumption that I don't think it's fair to make. Um, <laughs> Well, I think that, you know, there's a little bit of poetic license. You know, they kiss, and then the train goes through the tunnel, and the, uh, the right. vaudevillian comes on stage, and, you know... <laughs> oh, that was so... That's rude, Funny isn't it? That's and rude. ridiculous. Yes. What's sexier than a vaudevillian? <laughs> it's like the least sexy thing in the world. Well, come on, vaudevillians were sexy. What about... What? Uh, yes, um, Stan Laurel comic. was sexy. Stan Laurel was sexy. He was a vaudevillian in his day. 
Okay, sure. Brad Pitt, Stan Laurel. Yes, I think everyone gets. I don't confused. think Brad Pitt's a vaudevillian at all. No, but he's sexy. I mean, if you're talking about sexy. Well, but don't you think like? Uh, are like, you a vaudevillian? Is that what the thing is? And you're trying to? I mean, because you are sexy, you're very good looking. Oh, hello. Okay, so there yeah. is that. That's true. That's true. But I didn't know you were a vaudevillian, so maybe that's. Well, I like to think of myself as sort of vaudevillian, really? certainly when it comes to sexual pleasure. <laughs> I like to wear large check trousers and I have a flower that squirts water. <laughs> it's very dirty tonight. I don't know why. It I is. Do know, it's very dirty. I do know why I had a difficult childhood. I, uh, oh. Well, you know, sexually. There was no sex Should education. I borrow your pipe? Oh, you. So that you can well, talk uh, you about Well, you might it. get cooties from it. I've been chewing it. We could get you your own pipe, though. I probably. was kidding. <laughs> As it turns out, I was kidding. I don't, I don't want to put your. Whoa. I think that was a little bit of a Freudian slip right there. Mm. Hang on, I'm just uh, coming back from that getting. myself. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Uh, have you ever been to a... That's, see, that in a sketch, that would be a vaudeville sketch. That would be a, a hotel. Except tonight, mm -hmm. then it's, would you like to ring my bell? Ah. And then it's dirty. Do you stay away from roles that won't embarrass your children? Yes. That's smart, I think. <laughs> I would try and stay away from things that wouldn't embarrass my children, but I do this show every night. Uh. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for him to see certain episodes of Friends. Oh, come on. Friends there's is an one, iconic TV show. People the, love that show. Uh, there's one where I have my shirt's open, just my bra, mm. and I'm seducing Chandler, and then you have to see kissing and stuff. And you know, I mean, he'll be an adult when he sees most of the films I've done. But, yeah. you know. But that's all right. I mean, it's, it's not. It's not? According to him, it's well, really not. Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, 15's a tricky age for uh -huh. anybody. I mean, I don't remember it fondly at all. No, no. Do you, I bet you were fine during puberty because you're super hot and blonde hair. And oh, my God. Were you a cheerleader and stuff? Oh, my God, no. Really? I was not. No, I didn't even go to the prom. Why? Because... Hey, hey! <laughs> Why not? You don't know what's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> because I was too cool to go to the prom. Where are no, you? No, I... Uh, <laughs> no, but... Well, I didn't have a boyfriend, so... Well, that's all right. You can go to the prom without a boyfriend, can't you? I don't know. Yeah, no, I did. There was a guy in college that was going to take me, and then I got my dress, and I hated it. So I didn't go. See, that, but that's the kind of thing that happens when you're at that age, that awkward kind of, I yeah. can't, well, I mean, I'd wear any old thing to anywhere now. Right, well, uh, <laughs> that's not dirty, though. No, I know, but I did that little did that, thing after and then it maybe it to make it be. sound dirty. But it's not dirty at it's all. Not, that's the trick. Not even a little bit. Yeah, I mean, most of the things I say here are completely harmless. Uh, well, <laughs> sure. I, mean, I, would, I would hope so. Are you quite, are you quite tough on, on your kids about what they can and can't watch then for content and stuff? No. Really? Neither am I. Get really? bored with it. Well, <laughs> like, you can't watch that. I'm not. Okay, then fine, watch it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like how stern you are. I, well, it's very difficult He didn't even me. argue. Well, in, it, in your, in your made-up dialogue. Well, he didn't I, even argue. I don't even argue with myself. <laughs> I can have an argument with myself and lose quickly. Uh, so could I. So could I. I, no, because I, I, had, I was so badly behaved when I was a kid. I th my kids are actually lovely. Yeah. You know, they're nice. And I'm I don't, sure. Yeah, I, I read one of your books. Way. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but don't they know? Do you tell them? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I try and warn them a bit. You know, with the drugs and the alcohol, I'm like, you know, that's probably not a great idea with your genetic code. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. I don't know if it works. Uh, it remains to be seen. Well, mm. yes, that's true with kids. It all remains to be seen. Anyway, now some commercials for prescription <laughs> medication. <laughs> That's it. We're back, though. We're, we're back on TV. <laughs> we were talking about secret stuff. Not really. A <laughs> little bit. I like your ring. Thanks. My husband 
engaged. Gave it to you when you were engaged? <laughs> now for our uh, 18th anniversary. You've been married 18 years? Yeah. That's like 50 years in Hollywood. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. He's good, he's great. That's really nice. Isn't it? He's got good yeah. taste. Yeah. Well, he designed it or bought it from the... No, he selected it. From the... But he had choices. So he, the he, jeweler? The jeweler? Yeah. Is that the word you were... What, designed it? <laughs> but my wife designed a ring for me, like actually oh, designed yeah. it, look. And it's oh, got a thing, yeah. a world within a world. Hey, that's really cool. I know. <gasps> wow. Ah, yeah. It's like a double infinity. Yes. You know? <laughs> that's really cool. You went to college, clearly. I, yeah. Did you? What college? Vassar College. Oh, that's a really good one. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a, especially now, I would never have gotten in. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wish I'd gone to college sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I think, well, what would I use it for? I'm a late night douche. You don't need to go to college for that. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, you really, you really don't. No, it's true. Well, it's you, but you, you're producing and, and do all that stuff now as well. You don't just act. You're Thank doing God I went to college. Otherwise. Yeah, because there's, How would I know there's counting, it? Huh? counting it, <laughs> and um, saying act to actors stand over there. That's right. Yeah. The blocking, we call that blocking. Blocking, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, no, it's a good thing. Yeah. That web therapy show is doing great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's good. It's great. I don't understand why people applaud. Uh, don't that. you have a sign? No. Are you just instructed to applaud? No, you did it on your own? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look. Wait, now <laughs> you're applauding yourselves for applauding? Yes. What the hell is wrong with you? Some to praise them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're we're not. so clever. <laughs> I'll be nice to you. No. Yeah. I think I've been a bit mean to them, but I'm coming around. They've kind of won me over with their gentle good looks. I heard you gentle. praise them earlier. For I did being praise the best them. audience of, of all the shows that you've done this week. The guy from Brooklyn wants to sell you a bridge as well. <laughs> Hi, yes. Yeah. Don't, don't, he's married and his wife's really mad. No, she's not. She's all right. She's all right. Pretend to be German. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lisa Kudrow, everybody, we'll be right back. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at LLSTickets.com. Yes, this is a very funny comedian indeed. He's got a new DVD out. It's called Model Citizen. <laughs> well, what did I do? Is it upside down? What? What, what did I do? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> They're laughing at the picture? Yeah, and he hasn't even started yet. That's just a picture. Well, he's going to do great. Oh, man, he's going to... Like, all he has to do is come out and do that. They'll yeah. be rolling the up. Please welcome Michael McDonald, everybody. Michael McDonald. Hello, hello, stoners. Not an accusation, just an educated guess. Uh, for starters, uh, the good news is that we are in a new golden age of television with shows like Breaking Bad, Mad Men, Game of Thrones. The writing on television has never been better. If, yeah, go ahead, go for it. If you like good writing on television, I personally prefer my television to be trashy reality TV. The trashier, the better. And the reason why is it makes me feel better about myself. Like I watch uh, that show, Intervention. You know that show? I watch that show and I'll be like, oh, that's an alcoholic. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, another trashy show, The Real Housewives. Uh, sure. uh, I hate that show, and I never miss an episode. Um, 
For those of you who don't watch The Real Housewives because you have a shred of dignity, uh, The Real Housewives is a show about 50-year-old alcoholic women uh, who fight in prom dresses, okay? And uh, each show starts with one of the housewives. Um, they sort of like introduce themselves by doing this weird pose in their dress, and they are basically trying to look pretty but also hide the fact that they're out of their freaking mind, right? <laughs> this is what it looks like. Like, you're literally watching her fight through her medication. <laughs> Behind her, her family, like her child and her husband, are also posing and trying to look happy. But the, they're whispering to each other secretly, like, Hey, Daddy, when you and Mommy divorce, you'll take me with you, right, Daddy? <laughs> and he's like, Hell no, I'm not even your father. <laughs> Uh, actually, the worst part of it is when they get the housewife to record something about herself in her own voice that, like, it just, it's so arrogant, it makes you want to see her get swallowed up by a sinkhole, right? <laughs> you know, so, like, Beverly Hills is always about money, so it, it's something like this. They'll be like, I poop diamonds. <laughs> Uh, another show that I watch uh, is Toddlers and Tiaras. Um, oh, excellent. Um, for those of you who do not watch this show because you have a moral compass that works, um, Toddlers and Tiaras is a show about obese Southern moms and their drag queen babies. And uh, they award a, to the child who can suffer the most emotional abuse, they give them like a 99 cent crown. Uh, it's executive produced by the devil. Each show starts with one of the moms talking directly to camera. She'll be like, Kayla's been doing pageants since she was three days old. <laughs> it was her idea. The minute Kayla wants to stop doing pageants, we are done. <laughs> then they cut to Kayla eating sugar out of a bowl like this. I don't wanna do it anymore. Hush, Kayla. Mama's dreams didn't turn out, so it's your turn to pull the wagon. <laughs> Finish your bowl of diabetes and start tap dancing. <laughs> Um, it's a horror movie, is what it is. And I realize I like, my, I like horror. Like, I even like my commercials to be horrifying. Um, like the men's warehouse commercial. You remember that one? It would be like, you know, uh, men's clothing, and then they'd finish with the catchphrase, You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Like, right? It's horr horrifying. I can't believe they fired that guy. Like, what's he supposed to do now with that scary voice? Like, I actually I have a fantasy. It would be that he would work the drive through window at a fast food restaurant. So it'd be some, can I take your order? Um, yeah, what's in your hamburger? Dead ground up animals. Uh, uh what's... What's the special ingredient in the secret sauce? The fear they had as they were being slaughtered. <laughs> You're gonna like the way they taste. I guarantee it. Actually, the, it would be even better if he worked as a 911 operator. <laughs> like, 911, what's your emergency? Uh, no, it's not that bad. Never mind. I think the next guy. No, no, there's nobody else here. Besides, you'll like the way I help. I guarantee it. Uh, all right. Um, somebody's trying to break into my home. Surprise, it's me. Say goodnight, Mike. Goodnight, Mike.